I think the first thing is to focus on the actual decision that's being taken. So understand what it is that's required from you to support them making that decision. I think the second thing is to be objective. As far as possible, be completely objective about the advice that you're giving to the board and the executive. And I think the third thing, along with that, is to be as constructive as possible. I've found over the years that many risk managers, particularly senior risk managers, tend to be very negative and their advice comes across as being structured in that way. And they really should focus on looking at the upside of risk as well as the downside of risk. I think that you need to make your advice on risk uh, as relevant to the problem as, at hand as possible, uh, to make it as simple as possible so it's readily digestible. And I think it also needs to be, as far as possible, broadly consistent with other information they're getting from other parts of the business. Unless there's a specific reason for it to be uh, oppositional, I think that you should always seek to ensure that the advice you're giving is consistent with other information they're receiving.